Good morning everyone. Um, it's Friday, it's the 1st of May, so it's May Day today. And um, we're just about to wash, well I've got still wash my hands, Kenneth is washing his hands, um, just as we get ready for Friday Family Baking. So hold on just a second. We've got t-shirts. Yeah, he's got a t-shirt. Cooking with Kayla. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, so the Friday the, the, May edition. Yeah, the rebrand has occurred, yeah. isn't it? It has, but it, it, it was never a rebrand, it was always this brand. Okay, it was always this brand. So it's always been this brand, um, and it is officially now Cooking with Kayla. So we're going to do some shout outs in a little bit, but first of all, Kayla's going to talk us through. Are you going to move my cup of tea? He's going to talk us through the ingredients. You're just too much in my space, really. I'm, I am in your space. When there's a genius at the table, you've got to make, make room. Um, so I don't know if many of you saw um, the recipe that was put on Facebook yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Quite earlier in the week. Who knows? You can't get the help these days. I haven't got my diary in front of me. But we're doing Mr. Muddles' Melting Moments, which is rather exciting. So are we going for what we need? Yes. Okay, that's good. I was checking that. So we will need 125 grams, also known as 5 ounces, of self-raising flour. 75 grams or three ounces of caster sugar, 100 grams or four ounces of soft margarine, which we have cut up already. Yes. An egg. Yeah. Any size will do this time round. <laughs> oh, you know. Really, well, well, oh, okay, sadly. Well, we'll eat the rest of it later. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. We've got the finest quality it says here, somehow, I don't quite believe. Four tablespoons of crushed cornflakes, or desiccated coconut, if you can find that in the current climate, or something a bit more fun, rolled oats, but we've gone for cornflakes, haven't we? Yes, because I found a tiny packet in the cupboard. So this is about um, four <coughs> tablespoons. Okay, so that's what we need there. Obviously, we need our baking trays, yeah, we've, which we've, are greased, um, which we've done already, as always, on Cooking with Caleb. That's our number one thing. We need a large and a small bowl, a sieve, a wooden spoon, and then other bits and bobs that you normally use, like knives and spoons and forks, etc. So we're going to start. Are we going to start? Yeah, yeah. Okay, to start with, we need to make sure our oven is set to the right temperature. I have done that. Just Which check. I, I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm not quite sure that's quite correct. Okay. It's up to the wife of my life. So that's 100, we haven't, told, we haven't told people what we're doing. Oh, okay. 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, or gas, gas, gas. I'm trying to make the gas mark all one word. It's like a German compounding. Um, gas mark four. Okay, so to start with, um, we're going to cream our margarine. We're not sieving our margarine. No, we? we're sieving our <laughs> sugar. <laughs> sieving our sugar. We're sieving our sugar, everyone. We don't sieve margarine. So I'll sieve. So you sieve your sugar, yeah. and then you pop your margarine inside the bowl. Yeah. Easy said than done. Should I start cleaning those or it's green? You can do it. Okay. So what's the technique you're using? So for? for creaming, you're just sort of pressing the sugar into the margarine, um, just to blend it into one. And it'll take a few minutes to do this. Um, and while I do this, do you want to do the shout outs to people? Yes. I think with the cream in the margarine, it's a bit like when you press Play Doh down, isn't it, into each other, when you try and make it into yeah. one colour from two colours. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's the metaphor for today. Be more like Play Doh. Yeah. So we've got a few shout outs, as always, from Cooking with Caleb. We adore the fans all <laughs> around the world. Um, so, number one, we would like to shout out to Alex and Sean Lee. Who actually, would be met getting married today. I know. They're getting married um, today. Come on, guys. So, hang in there. A new date has been fixed, but we want to send them lots of love today because it's all quite disappointing. The cat is managed to get himself shut in the kitchen or what? It's fine. I might, I might, I'm just going to shut him out. Can you shut him out? Because he's, he's, uh, the cat's not very well, and so we don't, um, yeah, we just need him out of the kitchen just in case, really. Okay, so that's one shout out. Who else have we got to shout out? Um, we'd like to thank Claire and FM Branding for. 
you know, the t-shirt that is here. And if you want to learn more about how you can have your own Kitten with Kayla t-shirt, please do get in touch. Um, but also, yeah, thank you for their continued support in our endeavours these Friday mornings. And it's particularly clever, isn't it? Because it's written backwards, so it comes out the right way on the screen. So if you want the t-shirt, you can get in touch with us and we can get you a backwards one or a forwards one. It depends which way you want to go with that. Yes, we can have it upside down as well, I suppose, if you wanted it. Yeah. Oh, that's looking very good. Yeah. Um, so Jane and Matthew, who will be catching up later. Yeah, they're catching up later. They're catching up. Jane has to go back to work, so we'll give a wave to Jane. Um, but she has been watching live, but she's now at work, so she's promised to catch up later. Yeah, and um, as always, to Foley Infant School and Brindley Junior School, who I know have become big fans. It's very pleasing. We're rivaling Joe Whips, I think. <laughs> Maybe not quite, but one can hope. Um, to Rev Shrewsbury and Enzo, and obviously Reverend Adam Gompert, who I can see already is, is joining there? in. Yeah. Yes, it's a bit excitable, I think. Yeah. Um, to Presswood <laughs> Nursing Home and um, to all the people there, thinking of you in this time. And a close friend, family friend of ours, um, yeah. Pippa, and she's a midwife at Brussels Falls, so we're you know, thinking of all the midwives and those working at Brussels Falls during this time. So I think that's all our shout out. Shall we show um, what, what you've done? Yeah, well, I've, I've almost done it, I'm still going. Okay, well, can we just read that? I'm getting rid of it. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> so. It will be recycled later, don't worry. It's got our song on it for later. Oh, uh, we've got a number sheet later. Yeah, okay. So okay, so... Um, creamed. Creamed. So it looks a little bit like... Um, butter. Butter, yes. Uh, that was the word I was going to yeah. say. So it says, um, mix together lightly with a wooden spoon. And Mr. Muddle says, don't make it too soft. But I don't know what that means. We've got another recipe that says, until light and fluffy. So we're going for the mid-ground here, hoping that it works. Do I, I'm going to give it a bit more of a beat. Okay, so the next, got to, uh, the next step is we have to add half an egg, apparently. Yeah. Which is obviously always a bit dangerous, so... Do you want a fork? Now I'm just going to crack it. Yeah, you're going to have to beat it. Do you want the whole egg? Yeah, put the whole egg in, and then you'll have to... Then you have to beat it, and then put half in. Yeah, okay. I was going to do half first, you see. No, <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do that. Well, at the end of the week, we tried to put, um, we, 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 we baked it, and I decided that I wanted oh, I to know, do goat only, separating it, and I did it the wrong way around. Yes. Okay, so really, beat your think, eggs, give it a bit of... I know, these balls aren't very good for beating. These though. balls aren't very good for beating. The sides are a bit um, low, the depth is not yeah. really there for us. Okay, that is getting lighter and stuff. Okay, so now, um, now we've got half, half an egg, egg beaten, we also what need to... What can go wrong with that? need to make sure... Um, we've got our flour ready and our vanilla extract. So we're going to pour in half an egg. Yeah. And we'll save the other half for another day. Scrambles. Oh. Okay. Okay. Am I on am I I think you are. Okay, and then we need to get our vanilla extract, which I believe is one teaspoon. Okay, I might give it more stir than that. <laughs> we put half, um, not half, a whole teaspoon of vanilla extract. But maybe not so much. We're going to get too vanilla. soy sauce in the scrambled eggs. <laughs> so I, don't know, I don't know if that's a thing or not. Maybe it is in China. Okay, so the next step um, is to then stir in our flour to make it a firm mixture. Um, as always with flour, you can always just chuck it in, but we prefer to use a sieve um, because it makes it finer and just a bit more yummier. Does and it, it gets in a lump. That's what I said, make it finer. Yeah. It? Anyway, who knows? Who knows why we do these things? <laughs> Okay. So that goes straight in that sieve and then give it a little bit of a shake around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a little bit more shake. Obviously, you want to get most of the flour in for the bowl, which I think we've managed this time. Mm -hmm. Lovely stuff. And then you want to mould that in, please. So, what should take you when it comes to putting the flour in? Just stirring. Just stirring. That's <laughs> we just stirring. <laughs> it's very exciting. Yeah, just stirring. Okay, so. That's our big bowl, and that's what we're doing with our big bowl. We mentioned earlier we had a small bowl, and in your small bowl, you want to fill it with cold water. I've done that. Which is already happened. I'm not going to tip it up and show you because then water will go everywhere. Um, so, what you want to do next, after you've stirred in your mixture, 
as you well. want to. But it's a mixture, isn't it? Uh, it is a mixture, yeah. Well, it's now a mixture, isn't it? You yeah. stir it in, don't you? Okay. <laughs> um, you know, you know, James you Martin can. doesn't get this nice of does he? He doesn't. James Ooh. Martin does not have this sort of problem. So you put your cold But James you put your Martin hand doesn't the, cook with his mother. Water. You put your you put your hand in probably one at a time instead of both at the same time because you get a leakage. Uh, but you put both hands in the cold water. Okay, and then so um, your mixture, let's just get back to the cooking, should look like this. It's like a dough. You've made a dough. <coughs> I've made a swimming pool. So I said I've just made a Okay, so let me that up. Okay, so where's the tea towels on? Okay. So, so um the hold put your hands in the water carefully. The object to the hand in the water is just to get your hands wet. You could obviously just use a tap. But um, there's no fun in just using a tap, is there? No. We need to check how big your bowl is and how big your hands are and how much water is in there for the depth perception, um, which obviously some of us aren't so good at. So now we take a teaspoon of mixture. I'll take a teaspoon, thank you. Okay. So a teaspoon of mixture. Hang on, I need to crush the oat, the cornflakes. Oh, you haven't crushed them yet? No. Uh, well, if you're using cornflakes, you have to crush them, which I think was what we originally said, wasn't it? Yeah. At the start. Um, so your cornflakes or your desiccated coconut, you need to make sure that's all crushed up. Obviously oats um, come pretty crushed up as it is, isn't it? Now it's desiccated. Well, I don't know what desiccated. We don't really eat coconuts, do we? Not really. No. We eat coconut and milk when we do a curry sometimes. That's not it, isn't it? Yeah. But you can do oat milk or something like that, aren't you? Various bits and bobs. Wait, I think that's what we don't well, It's a wonderful. <laughs> so, you take your teaspoon of mixture. Hang on, I'm still crushing. And then you take it out of your teaspoon and into your hand and you roll it because your hand is slightly damp and wet. It will make a lovely nice ball and not get too stuck to your fingers. So again, it's just on your palms of your hands, like that, like so. And you get a ball. Then you just put it into crushed cornflakes and just roll it around. So that's all rolling, yeah. rolling around with it, looking good. And then you take it out. Pop it onto your grease baking tray and just flatten it a little bit, just so you've got some surface area actually on the baking tray. You don't want that ball to be rolling around in the oven. You may be doing a teaspoon one. It is a teaspoon. That wasn't a teaspoon though, you didn't use yeah, a teaspoon. Yeah, good enough. And then you just repeat, you keep doing it. You keep rolling those balls. Yeah. Covering them in your cornflakes. Okay, a little more gentle than that, because this is food, remember? You want to show respect okay. and love. Okay. We don't want to be chucking food around the kitchen. It's not a very good example to be setting, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> that was it for you. So we probably want to make this small, don't we? But we do, we're not too sure how long these are going to take to cook. We've got two different recipes. So we're spreading them out like we have done previously, with three on the bottom and two on the top, so you've got plenty of space. Should I put these in the middle? Plenty yeah, I've of got to space. Get in, haven't I? Yeah. Um, so your your dough is about the size of a walnut, some of these are a bit big, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not really sure how big a walnut is, really. Yeah, I suppose it depends if you fill it in its shell. Yeah, I don't really see walnuts in the wild, I suppose. Do you? No, I only really see them you on walnut. I only see them on walnut witch, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> no, because, you know. Yeah, they're, they're half a walnut. We should really put some whipped cream on it, shouldn't we? We what? thought about well, walnuts. Well, maybe not. They're not really walnuts, are they? They're not walnuts, though. <laughs> That's the point, isn't it? Yeah, it's cornflakes. Cornflakes. Obviously, you could. Um, you can put a cherry in the middle, can't you? Yes, I was about to say that. Oh, wait, go on then. Say that then. Um, you can put a cherry in the middle. <laughs> but obviously, you can, you know, you could drizzle it in, you know, maybe chocolate sauce or strawberry sauce no, or something else. No, that's not going to work at this point. No, oh. afterwards, yes. Oh, okay. Do you not think? And we don't have any. No, we don't have any. Okay, so what are you going to do? These are very strange shapes, aren't they? What are you going to do with these? Um, we're going to put these in the, we're going to put these in the oven. Do you want to show everyone the, the non-uniform... Um, these will be going into the oven for... Um, I think we're going to start with 10 minutes. We're going to start we? with 10 see. minutes and see what happens. Oh, we go. Alexa, could you please put the timer on for 10 minutes? Alexa, do you want to put that? No, I haven't. Could you please put the timer on for 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Alexa's given up the order to live today. Could you please put the timer on for 10 minutes? Oh, yeah, you could just do an ordinary timer. Where's the timer from? Oh, yeah. yeah, the time has been moved. We had a timer that was magnetic and it was causing havoc with the <laughs> microwave, so um, it got moved to the fridge. Yeah. It's a bit of a penis, isn't it? There we go, I'm going to pop okay. it on here. Ten minutes. So as that's cooking, we carry on making our next batch, obviously. 
Can we obviously have the case it yet again? No, no, I think it'll be good. No, it's going to be good. I need to doubt my hand a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we'll be careful. So one hand at a time is what we've learned. <laughs> Well, it's not, you know, well, we shouldn't have had so much water, I don't know why we thought. I know, that's entirely my fault. Let's put that there. Okay. I think these are going to be quite nice, actually, obviously. I think they're going to be really very nice. I was a little bit uh, apprehensive when we started cooking. Were you? Why? Well, I was just a little bit, because, you know, it's Mr. Man, you know, we like Mr. Man, I really recognise him, the actual thing. What, Mr.? Well, I like Mr. Tickle. You know? Okay, well, there's Mr. Small. Did you want to show people the... Uh, Recipe. So we will take a photograph of this so you can see it. I thought it was already on Facebook. No, not all of it. Some of it is, but not all of it. So um, that's obviously going to be back to front to everybody. Yes, but obviously you can see the Mister Men. You can see the Mister Men. So I think we've got Mister Small, we've got the normal worm, and Mister Muddle. I'm afraid I couldn't find our Mister Men books, which we might have given away. Uh, so yes. I can't remember the story of Mister Muddle. Yes, I personally, I th my favourites are obviously Mr. Tickle, because, you know, big arms. Yeah. And, um, quite like Mr. And Grumpy. Tickling. You quite, you quite like the whole tickling thing, don't yeah, you? Yeah, the whole tickling thing, you know, why not? Yeah. Obviously, only tickle people you know at home. Don't go around tickling people. No, don't go around tickling strangers. Because <laughs> yeah. obviously... Especially if you're older. <laughs> yes. If you... Alright, <laughs> 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 no. you're taking not too many cornflakes, because we've got three more to go. Three more? Yeah. We should have more cornflakes, though. Yeah, but this was all we had because we only had a mini pack. Oh, was it all of them in there? Yeah. Oh, it's 20 grams, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so the final one. Okay, so that's all the cornflakes coming in. We're going to have to wait until. Um, let's do two, two timers, I suppose. We could do two timers. We could do two timers. Yeah. Okay, so you're done. So that little ball goes there. Okay. Just in the middle. You're going to stick them out of it? Yeah. Okay, so there we have it. Another tray. Another uh, tray, okay. Goodies that are currently unbaked. So they're also going into our yeah. oven at the same temperature as before. Oh, another timer, isn't it, as well? Yeah, so we've got another timer, so we'll be able to set the timer for that. Obviously, when you're um, baking at home, it's probably more advantageous to put both in at the same time. <laughs> yeah. uh, but if you want to have staggered cooking, you know, we're not here to judge, are we? No, we are not judging that yeah. sort of approach. Right, do you want to wipe this surface dry? Just wiping it wet, sort of. Okay, wipe it wet, then wipe it dry, and then we'll be ready for our story. Oh, that went very well, Caleb. Well done. Oh, it was a little bit tense at the points, wasn't it? It was tense at the points, yeah. Mm. Right. So. Let's sit down now. Okay. So this week in church, we've been thinking about a story of two people who met Jesus, but they didn't recognise him. So Caleb, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I'm doing a bit of water, it's a bit thirsty work, isn't it? It is a bit. Caleb's going to um, read the story for us. Uh, and then we've got a song and a little craft activity. I don't know what order we're going to take it in. Um, story. Y yes, first. Yeah, well, otherwise the craft activity won't make any sense, will it? No, okay. Off you go. Thank you. Two men walk with Jesus. Now this story is taken, it's inspiration um, from Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 32. So if you've got maybe a little Bible at home, you can have a little look through and see um, this in more detail if you want to. Obviously, this rendition could be very impressive. Sorry, I thought, I thought we need to do a bit of filler because okay. the cooking's going to take quite a long time. <laughs> it was afternoon on Easter day and two disciples went for a walk to Emmaus. On the way, they talked and talked and they talked about Jesus. But after a while, a strange man came to walk with them, and the man said, What are you talking about? They said, Oh, we are talking about all the wonderful things that have happened. The strange man said, What wonderful things? And the disciples said, Don't you know? Didn't you hear about Jesus? We thought he was a great prophet. We thought he would be our king. But the chief priest took him, and, di and he died on the cross. We thought surely he would be the saviour. And they had more to tell. They said, this morning, some friends went to his grave, and they came running back. They said the grave was empty. They said they saw the angels by the grave, and the angels said Jesus is alive. Then the strange man said, don't you understand? The Saviour had to die on the cross long, long ago. The prophet said that he would come, and that he would die on the cross, and that he would live again. The strange man 
and then told them all about the prophets of long, long ago. And the disciples listened, and they thought, what a wonderful person this strange man is. And after a while, they came to Emmaus. The disciples stopped at their house, and the strange man was going to walk on. But the disciples said, come in and eat supper with us. They all went into the house, and all three sat down to eat supper. And then the strange man took bread. He looked up to heaven and asked God to bless the bread. And he broke a piece for each of the three disciples. When they saw the man break the bread, they suddenly realised who it was. It was, in fact, Jesus. Plot twist. And at that very moment, Jesus was gone. The disciples looked at each other with shining eyes, and they said, No wonder we thought he was a wonderful man. Excellent. Mm. So, the craft activity, we do the craft activity and then we do the song. We were thinking about how, as disciples of Jesus every day, we should be keeping an eye out for Jesus. So these two disciples weren't expecting to meet him. But we should be expecting to meet Jesus in different ways, through different people we meet, and through the events that happen each day. So we're going to make... What are we making? Um, Looking for Jesus binoculars. Now we're only making one set because we could only find two toilet rolls. So Caleb has done his best to um, get us two more toilet rolls, uh, holders, inserts this morning. Uh, but couldn't quite manage it, could you? Well, no, no. no <laughs> let's not go into that. It's slightly rude. rude He's done his best. So what do we do to make um, our binoculars, Caleb? Well, I thought you were going to instruct me. Oh, okay. So <laughs> what we <laughs> need to do <laughs> is take <laughs> your two toilet rolls, if you've got them, and hold them near your eyes to so work out how much space you've got between those and your nose. And then you're going to use either a piece of cardboard, a uh, lighter, flimsy cardboard. Or a pipe cleaner. Or pipe cleaner, to make the little bit, and we're going to sellotape so that together. So you want to uh, take your pipe cleaner and mould it around your nose. Now the issue I've got is my nose is quite small and I've got glasses on, but yeah. I you're managed. Not, you're not physically perfect, are you? No, I'm not very good at this kind of <laughs> endeavour. Okay. Okay. Um, so you want to mould it, so you kind of end up with a slightly weird W, or a wave of a C. Yeah. That's how you describe it, isn't it? Um, so obviously you've got your two binoculars, and you just rest them on top of them. Yeah. And then up here, I, would, I think personally, we need to... Yes, oh, I know. Oh, okay. We need to double check that we've got it this as well. <laughs> this works so much better when we practice this part. It did, it did work. We did practice this bit. We don't normally practice. Can I just... Oh, come on. So you got to check. Yeah, that looks good to me. Yeah. Oh, but your nose it. is miles away. My nose is a bit far away, but I okay. think my... Okay. Yeah, I'll put at the ends. Okay. So look. So you're really aiming to put that at the end. Yeah. I mean, it depends how big your nose is, isn't it? It depends how long your nose is. Sorry. <laughs> really? If you've got a long nose, you can put it wherever you like, I suppose. <laughs> that's fine. There you go. So that well, looks that's good, quite good. It? Um, and then we thought we'd attach some strings so you can wear them around your neck. Yeah, so we're going to um, we're going to be careful here because we're going to yeah, be using sharp objects. Skewer. We're going to use something that we chuck into our cakes to check the temperature. That's what we use it for. Well, right? yeah. We don't check the temperature. Oh, uh, that's what you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to. Uh, you need it on this side, don't you? Need so it on hang the, it yes, the neck. of course. We need it on the side. Yeah. So we're going to um, poke a hole in. Carefully. Poke a hole in. <laughs> so that's one hole poked, obviously. And then we're going to poke another hole in, preferably yeah, in, the exactly. in the same kind of same area. Level. If not, you're going to have slightly wonky, wonky binoculars. Okay. And then um, you want to thread. What are you doing? I'm going to make it a bit bigger to thread through next time. It's really easier. So what are we doing? Shall I do this bit for you? I don't think you can manage it. Um, you want to thread through your rope or string. String, string something rope is wool, a thing. in fact. Um, wool. Yeah. It's um, obviously you can have it in other colours. You don't have to have it. I know red, girly, pink. You can have it in pink. Although anybody can have pink. You don't need to be a girl. No. You quite like wearing pink actually, don't you? I like a salmon pink personally. A salmon I, don't, pink. I, don't, I don't like this dark kind of thing. The pink that we kind of use on the actual um, the nose crook. Yeah. So um, so you need to then notch inside your um, your wool. So this is a bit fiddly, isn't it? You need to have this you know, is a bit fiddly. You are going to definitely need finger, don't you, really? grown up help for this. It's just as well you've got that, isn't it? Yeah. So um, we're going to do that. There we go. Now we're going to poke on. And then if you put them round your neck, you can then work out how long you want that to be. Oh, oh dear, they're slightly twisted. And then tie the knot. 
And then these, obviously you can cut that off. Where are these? These are our, oh, these are our binoculars for looking out for Jesus every day. And um, we have got pens, so you could colour them, but instead we're going to get our baking out. Oh, no, you, you can start colouring if you want to. No, you get the baking out, because we've got our song to do, yeah? Oh, yeah. No, no they need a bit longer. So they're going to have a bit longer. I'm going to say, well, we've got two minutes until the other time we go, so we'll see what it both looks like then, and then maybe add another. Okay. But, um, <laughs> oh, so we've got a song, do you want to get the mine off the table? Oh, Caleb, yeah, Caleb's put the song... Yes, we've got a stand. We've got a stand. We've got a song. Um, and this goes to the tune of the Okey Cokey, everybody. So I've, I've struggled a little bit, but I think we're there now, aren't we? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> we two sons we're walking, friends, we're walking back, back home. home. Jesus died, we're silent, a stranger walks with us. We told him what's gone wrong and he listened to us each. Then he comes home for tea. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. He said a prayer, broke the bed, and we know it was the Lord. Okay, we nearly got that right. We did practice it as well. Okay. I know, but you've, you've, well, written, okay. you've written Next, next things. verse, next verse. So the chorus you can join in with, well, we'll do the chorus again, shall we? So the chorus is, Whoa, the stranger, stranger it, was it was Jesus. Jesus. And then um, he, he said, said prayer, prayer, broke bread. Okay. We knew, we knew it was, was the Lord. Lord. Yeah. Which isn't what I sang, obviously, because I never see what's written down. Okay. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. He said, said prayers, broke bread, and knew it was the Lord. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, carrying on. Carrying on, yeah. I'm not very confident in the verses. We're not sad at all. We ran back to our friend. He lives, we know, we've come to tell you all. He's risen from the dead, is alive forevermore. This is indeed good news. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. Whoa, the stranger, it was Jesus. He said, prayer broke bread, knew it was the Lord. Hang on, we're going to double check on me. Me, two more minutes Certainly, two more, always there. Two more minutes. So the time at the moment, we're running at about 12 minutes, we think it'll be 14. No, we're running at more at 14, yeah. 14. So do you want to sing again? We can do, yes. Do you want to sing again? Or have you got another plan? I don't, I don't know. Do you want to plan. Do you want to start another plan. He's no. been practising this just for you. I'll move out of the way. No, no, you want to carry on singing with it. Oh, okay, I'll try and sing it. I'll sing along with it. I don't know what can go wrong here. Here we go. We're branching out. We're branching out. It's Friday later. It's here. Yeah. Um, they will uh, 
So as always, at this point we have to slide off our baked goodies Very into heavy. a cooling rack or any other form of apparatus uh, where the cold air can cool them all around. Yes. And they will firm up a little bit once they've uh, cooled down. Yes, yeah, so you probably want to leave them for maybe five minutes before you start eating, do you think? Yeah. So these are looking quite good. Now, next week, uh, next week, Caleb has an exam, an online exam, on Friday. So Caleb won't be cooking. He'll be next door, in the room next door, taking an exam. Yes, I will be, yes. So, um, probably I've got a stand-in. Yes, we have a special, we have a special guest. special guest. Yes. For one week only, I think, is that right? Well, it depends. The public likes him so much, you might find yourself out of a job. I might find myself out of a job, which wouldn't be the worst <laughs> thing in the world. So we're going to, we've got to stand in for next week. But also next Friday is VE Day. So it's the 75th anniversary of VE Day. So we're going to be preparing for our sort of street party that we're hoping to have here and in other parts of Enville Village. We're having a, um, a not together get together to celebrate uh, VE Day next weekend sometime. We haven't quite fixed our date. So we're going to have some um, recipes from the war that the stand-in will be baking. Um, and then hopefully one or two guest spots of people who will be joining us to show us other things that you can make or do for your uh, not-together get-together if you too are celebrating VE Day later that day or in the afternoon. Yes, that's wonderful. So it's going to be wonderful. I'm aiming to hopefully join halfway through or towards the end. Yes, Caleb's yeah. aiming to rush his exam and join halfway through. Um, but in the meantime, he's going to play us out with a, yeah, so with a classic out, tune. Final. I'll bring these out, and then he's got a final tune for us to get us in the mood. Yes, because it's the first of May, isn't it? You know, summer is almost upon us. It's the first of May, and also to get us in the mood to celebrate V Day. So these are also done. So I think that means our timing is about 14 minutes. Everybody is a good time. <laughs>